हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर फोर अ वंडरफुल गिफ्ट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट यू हैव एंजॉयड अ ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी अ ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी ऑफ अ लिटिल बॉय बेंजमिन वेस्ट हु वॉज बेंजमिन वेस्ट ही वॉज अ फेमस पेंटर लेटर ऑन ही बिकेम अ फेमस पेंटर when he was a small boy he loved pictures but his parents did not buy picture book for him do you know why because they thought it was waste of money and it might take benjamin's mind away from more useful things but one day when his mother wanted to go out for some important work she asked benjamin to take care of his little sister when he was taking care of his little sister he got an idea to draw a picture of his little sister children it was a beautiful picture but his parents were confused whether they have to encourage him to draw the picture so they took this matter to the priest the priest recognized the boy's god gifted talent and told his parents to encourage him so his parents encouraged this little boy and he became a famous painter later on now children let us do the exercise of this lesson understanding the text answer these questions in a few words of your own when did benjamin draw a picture of his baby sister when did benjamin draw a picture of his baby sister one day when his mother wanted to go out for some important work she asked benjamin to look after his little sister he was alone at that time then he drew a picture of his little sister so let us see the answer when he was alone at home with his baby sister when did benjamin draw a picture of his baby sister when he was alone at home with his baby sister now let us move to next question what did benjamin used to draw the picture what did benjamin used to draw the picture he wanted to draw the picture but there was no pencil or paper so he found a piece of cardboard and a piece of charcoal what did benjamin used to draw the picture a piece of cardboard and a piece of charcoal now let us move to next question why didn't benjamin know that his mother was back children why didn't he know that his mother was back because he was so busy in do doing the drawing so he didn't notice his mother benjamin was very busy in drawing so he did not notice her now fourth question how did benjamin's mother first feel when she saw the picture he drew what did she do when benjamin's mother saw the beautiful picture which he made she was so happy and overjoyed and she hugged him and kissed him benjamin's mother was very happy she hugged him and kissed him now let us move to next question why did benjamin's mother worry about the picture he drew what did she think about it she was worried that because in those days these kind of activities like singing dancing drawing are not considered as good things so she was worried because she did not know if benjamin had done the right thing now let us move to next question who said that benjamin had a wonderful gift children who said that benjamin had a wonderful gift the priest of their church 
when the priest recognized the boy's talent he said that benjamin had a wonderful gift now let us do the next exercise answer these questions in one sentence each children you can see some blue line sentences these sentences are from the story and you can see some questions based on these sentences so let us answer for these questions first one his father and mother did not think it was right to spend money for such thing benjamin loved pictures but his parents thought that it was waste of money to buy picture book so what were such things pictures now second the picture grew as the charcoal touched the cardboard what picture was it benjamin was drawing a picture of his baby sister when he was alone at home so a picture of benjamin's baby sister now next question third benjamin's father did not answer what question did he not answer benjamin's mother's question is it very wrong for benjamin to draw children why he didn't answer because he was so confused how to react on the picture so he didn't answer now let us move to fourth question the priest looked at the picture for a long time why do you think he did this because he liked the picture very much and he recognized the boy's god gifted talent so answer is he did this because he liked the picture now let us move to next question and the words of the priest came true what words were these what words were these let us hope that benjamin will grow up to be an honor to our country when the priest recognized the boy's god gifted talent he told to his parents that one day this boy will become a great painter children before moving to our next exercise we will learn about adjective phrase children you have already learned about adjective in the last session let us see what is an adjective first an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun for example jenny is a clever girl clever is an adjective and it describes jenny jenny is a noun here for more example funny clown funny describes a person hot desert desert is a place so it describes this adjective describes a place broken egg egg is a thing so it describes a thing now let us learn about phrase what is a phrase a phrase is a group of words which conveys some meaning but does not make complete sense it's a group of words it conveys some meaning but it does not make a meaningful sentences a phrase needs to be a part of the sentence for it to make complete sense for example we went out for tea in the afternoon for tea in the afternoon is a phrase they returned home late at night at night is a phrase in this sentence lata is a woman of principles of principles is a phrase in this sentence children all these phrases give some meanings but these phrases are not complete sentences now let us learn about adjective phrase an adjective phrase is a group of words that performs the function of an adjective in a sentence for example devi is a batsman with skill hio with skill is a adjective phrase skill is an adjective now next the boy with the blue eyes gave me a packet here with the blue eyes is an adjective phrase now next the book 
in my bag is written by Shakespeare. In my bag is an adjective phrase. Rhea wore a gown of red color. Of red color is the adjective phrase in this sentence. Now children, let us do the next exercise from your book. Complete these sentences with the adjective phrases from the box. Children, here are some adjective phrases given in the box. Let us see that. Quite tall. Too hot and sunny. Very strong. Light brown. A little worried. Much taller. Slow but steady. Fully grown. These are the adjective phrases given in the box. You have to complete the sentences given down with these adjective phrases. First, Benjamin's mother was a little worried about the picture. Children, which adjective phrase is used in this sentence? A little worried. Now, let us move to next. Second, I am much taller than everybody else in my class. In this sentence, much taller is the adjective phrase. Now third, Rhea looks shorter than you but she is actually quite tall. In this sentence, quite tall is the adjective phrase. Fourth one, he is very strong. I think he can lift a car. In this sentence, very strong is an adjective phrase. Now, the tortoise was low but steady, so it won the race. Here, slow but steady is an adjective phrase. Now, sixth, I have washed the shirt many times, but you still see a light brown stain. Here, light brown is an adjective phrase. Seventh one. If it is not too hot and sunny, we will go for a walk. Here, too hot and sunny is an adjective phrase. Eighth one, a fully grown tiger weighs more than 300 kilograms. Here, fully grown is an adjective in this sentence. Children, before moving to our next exercise, we will learn about articles. Articles. What are articles? A and the are articles. The articles A and, and the are determiners used before nouns and sometimes adjectives. For example, look at here. The sun is shining. Rima is eating an apple. A boy is playing. Here, the and a are called articles. Children, A and an are indefinite articles. A and an are used to speak of someone or something for the first time. When we are talking about someone or something, at the first time we use A or an for that noun. A and an are used with a noun in general. Now let us see the examples. A comes before singular nouns that begins with a consonant sound. Children, what is a consonant? There are 26 letters in English alphabet. Out of these 26 letters, there are 5 vowels. They are A, E, I, O, U. Rest of the letters are called consonant letters. So, Article A comes before singular nouns that begin with a consonant sound. For example, a tall man, a table, a cat. All these nouns started with a consonant letter. And comes before singular nouns that begin with a vowel sound or a mute H. For example, an ice cream, an igloo, an apple. Children, Use the before the thing that is only one of its kind like the sun, the earth, the moon. Children, there is only one sun in the universe, one earth in the universe, one moon in the universe. So, we have to use 
article the before the thing that is only one of its kind like the sun the moon the earth if we have to use the article the before the name of oceans example is the indian ocean name of river for example the ganga name of sea for example the arabian sea we can use article the before the name of ocean name of river or name of sea article the is used before a particular noun cow is very happy we are talking about a particular cow second the dog is very brave we are talking about a particular dog we use article the when naming a noun that refers to an entire group of its kind for example the whale is a mammal here whale is referred to an entire group of its kind the articles a and and the can be used before an adjective that comes before a noun for example a school has got a new captain here captain is a noun new is an adjective and before new article a is used now second the new captain was elected last week here again captain is a noun and new is an adjective and article the is used before an adjective now third one he is an intelligent boy here boy is a noun intelligent is an adjective and article an is used before the adjective now we use the when a person place animal or thing is mentioned a second time for example we have a test tomorrow we want to do well in the text in the first sentence we are talking about the test first time but when we are talking about it again then we have to use article the before that noun children we use article the before ordinal numbers and before superlative adjectives for example the second seat in that row is mine here second is the ordinal number next you are the best here best is the superlative adjective children we do not use article the with the following proper nouns names of continents streets and most countries names of lakes and mountains names of days months and festivals names of people now let us do the exercise b pick the correct articles in these paragraphs i am aditya i am in class 3 my father is an engineer children here the word engineer is started with a vowel letter so article an is used before engineer he builds machines and engines he works in a factory here the word factory is started with a consonant so before it a is used my mother is an architect here architect is Uh, started with the uh, vowel letter so an is used she draws the designs for buildings she works in an office here the word office started with a vowel letter so article an is used i have an elder brother and a younger sister here elder the word elder started with a vowel letter so an is used and younger started with a consonant letter so a is used we live in a small house now here the word small started with a consonant letter so article a is used for small we will move into a flat next month here flat also started with a consonant letter so we have to use a before it the flat is on the second floor of the building 
here flat and building these words repeated again so we have to use article the before them there is a terrace on the top floor of the building here the word terrace started with the consonant letter so a is used and building is repeated again so the is used my brother sister and i want to have a small garden on the terrace here we are talking about small garden so a is used and terrace is repeated again so article the is used we can also play on the terrace here here again terrace is repeated so article the is used now let us move to next exercise complete the words in color in these sentences he has a lot to do a lot to do means he is busy second everyone except mala came she was ill except means other than third benjamin west pictures made him famous soon everyone knew his name famous means well known fourth one i thought i would finish the book in a few days but it took me several weeks to do so several means many weeks now let us do the next one complete these sentences with the phrases from the box you may need to make some changes to some words here are some phrases given in the box take care of put something away come true call on all these are phrases given in the box we have to complete these sentences with these phrases first one don't be sad i am sure your dreams will come true one day what is the phrase used in this sentence come true second if you don't put that cricket bat away someone may trip on it and fall here which phrase is used put away now third who took care of your grandmother when you all were away here this sentence is in past tense so we have to change this phrase into past tense so take care of change it into took care of now fourth we can certainly call on them but let us first make sure they are home children before moving to next exercise we will learn the rules for changing regular verb into past tense to make the past tense with most regular verbs add ed for example jump jumped call called look looked if a regular verb ends in e just add d like like it's ended with e so we have to add only d to change into past tense liked agree agreed die died if a regular verb ends in a consonant and y take off the y and add i in place of y and add ed for example cry it ended with y and before it there is a consonant so you have to remove you have to take off the y and in place of y you have to add i then ed cried study studied marry married if a regular verb ends in a single vowel and a single consonant double the consonant and add ed for example stop here p is a consonant single consonant and o before p there is a vowel and we have to double the consonant letter last consonant letter so s t o double p e d now clap clapped hope hoped now let us do the exercise write the past tense form of these words first clap clap children this verb end with single consonant before it there is a single uh, vowel so you have to double the uh, last consonant and add ed now second hurry hurried this verb ends with y 
and before it there is a consonant letter so you have to remove y and in place of y you have to add ied third one like liked here this verb ends with e so you have to add only d fourth one beg begged this word ends with single consonant before there is a single vowel so you have to double the last consonant and add ed now five push pushed you have to add ed for this sixth one enjoy enjoyed here this verb also ending with y but before it there is a vowel so you have to add only ed to it now seventh look looked you have to add ed to it now eight cry cried here this verb is sending with y so you have to remove y and in place of y you have to add ed because before y there is a consonant letter now nine fill filled here you have to add ed now ten close closed here you have to add only d now children there is a small homework for you learn and write all the exercises in your rough copy children in this session we will learn grammar subject and verb agreement from your grammar book subject and verb agreement a verb must agree with its subject in number and person a singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb for example the dog barks in this sentence dog is a singular subject and barks is a singular verb now next the dogs bark in this sentence dogs is a plural subject and bark is also a plural verb my mother works at a clinic my mother mother is a singular subject and works is a singular verb they work together at the workshop here they is a plural subject and work is a plural verb verbs do not form their plural by adding an s as nouns do for example he she it are singular nouns so we have to add singular verbs speaks is was as for plural they is a plural subject so we have to add plural verbs speak are were have for example he speaks she speaks he is she is he was she was it is it was it has now they speak they are they were they have the verb am is used only with the pronoun i the verb and its subject in a sentence must agree in person here there are three types of persons first person second person and third person in the first person i and we are the first person in the second person you and you all are the second person in the third person he she and they are the third person the agreement of the verbs with its subject are i read we read you read you all read he she reads they read children the singular pronouns i and you do not make use of singular verb forms for example i and you are the singular pronouns but they always take plural verbs the verb had is used with singular as well as plural subject for example nikki had a fall here nikki is a singular subject but had is used now next they had a problem here they is a plural subject but had is used with they the verb is plural if two or more singular subjects are joined by and for example rahul 
and Sachin are playing cricket. Here Rahul and Sachin are singular subjects but they are joined with and then verb becomes plural. Now children let us do the exercises from worksheet number 3 subject verb agreement. First exercise fill in the blanks with the correct verbs from the brackets. A. The boys have new bats. Has, have. Boys are in plural subjects so we have to use have as a plural verb. B. Those girls have long hair. Here girls also plural subjects so we have to use have as a plural verb. Now see, the lady has two children. Here, lady is in singular subject. So, we have to use a singular verb, has. D. Yesterday, the writer was praised. Here, writer is in singular subject. So, we have to use was as a singular verb. Now, E. Different languages were taught in the school. Here, languages is in plural subject so we have to use were as a plural verb now f her clothes were dirty here clothes is in plural subject so we have to use were as a plural verb now g the mouse is ready to jump out of the window here mouse is a singular subject so we have to use is as a singular verb h the teachers are in a conference. Is are. Here teachers is a plural subject. So we have to use are as a plural verb. Now I. One of my friends has gone to Morocco. As have. Here talking about one person. One of my friends. That means one person. So it is in singular subject. So uh, has is used as singular verb. Ratika and I were in the same school. Was were. Here Ratika and I we are talking about two persons. So it is in plural form. It is a plural subject. So we have to use were as a plural verb. Now second correct the verbs and rewrite these sentences. The student have five lunch boxes. Here is talking about one student. So we have to write as in place of have the student has five lunch boxes now b last week my cousins was in chennai here we are talking about plural subject cousins so we have to add plural verb were last week my cousins were in chennai see the kite are caught in the tree here kite is in singular Subject, so we have to use singular verb also. The kite is caught in the tree. In place of R, we have to use is. Now D, the buses is late. Here, buses is a plural subject. So we have to use R as a plural verb. The buses are late. Now E, the peacock are dancing in the rain. Here we are talking about one peacock. So, we have to use singular verb also. The peacock is dancing in the rain. F. Mir and his brother is at school. We are talking about two persons. Mir and brother. So, we have to use plural verb also. Mir and his brother are at school. G. They is listening to music. We are talking about plural subjects. So, we have to use plural verb. They are listening to music. H. The cat are sleeping on the mat. We are talking about one cat. So, a singular verb also should be used. The cat is sleeping on the mat. I. The players was running in the in that park. Here, the players was running in that park. Here, players are in plural subjects. So, we have to use Plural verb also. The players were running in that park. J. The students has gone for a picnic. Here we are talking about students. More than one student. So, it is in plural form. So, we have to use plural verb also. The students have gone for a picnic. Children, there is a small homework for you. 
learn and write all the exercises in your rough copy children this is the end of this session we will meet you with another video till then take care and be safe at home